What is up everybody? Welcome back to my trading journal and today we have a very special, very different edition. Um, I'm actually interviewing one of the Trade Creators members, which I've never really done before, which would actually make sense because everyone's like, is this real? Are you real? And it's like, uh, yeah, we are. So I would love to introduce you guys to Maya, aka Maya Trades. Um, you also have another Instagram, don't you? Yes, it is official Maya Watkins. That's for like my poetry, my acting, that channel. And then I've got one for Reiki healing, Maya True Living. Mm, so, yeah. She is a business <laughs> babes. Um, and your story is actually one of my favorites mm -hmm. because we, every Trade Creators member has their own introduction to the Forex world um, and every story is very unique. But Maya was somebody who I was talking to or you were talking to me for like a year. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable, for literally a year. And um, I really kind of let you do your thing just because I really loved your vibe mm -hmm. from like your Instagram anyway and I was getting um, value from your content. So I just really mm -hmm. liked who you were as an artist with yeah. your spoken word stuff. I was like, oh, this girl's got some things going on. And you were also connected to a few other people. Who who was it that we were connected to? A few actors, um, yeah. And then, cause you'd already been trading. Yeah. You'd already been, so tell me a little bit about yeah, that so beginning trading. part of your journey. The bros, yeah. the bros. And we do see so yeah. much of that, it's yeah. pretty so crazy. It's Yeah. And you were like, oh, I'm just gonna figure it out yeah. for myself for a bit. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, girl, no worries. Yeah. And then it was like a year later and you were like, yeah, so um, I just lost all my money on yeah, gold. Yeah. So uh, it was the gold, the yeah. gold killed me. And I didn't know, like I was just trying to make quick money. I was trying to be yeah. fast, trying to flip 50 pounds to and, make a thousand. I do, I definitely Yeah. Do. And I didn't really have like that kind of discipline or my own strategy that I actually stuck to. It was more, I would just trade when I felt like trading. <laughs> you had have, you have yeah. the tenacity mm -hmm. and you had the desire. Like, yeah, yeah. You knew that you wanted it mm -hmm, and you mm -hmm. were working so hard. You were like doing your own study times yeah, and things yeah, like that. So yeah. when you actually came into Trade Creatives, it was a really seamless transition yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just about structure. Yeah. Which is what we Structure have. and discipline. Because my I didn't have the discipline. I just wanted to make money. That's, yeah. it was pandemic. I was like, oh, how am I going to make money? I've got all this time. What should I do? And um, obviously I freelance as well. Um, and then I was on a job that was zero hours. So I didn't really care about how yeah. you were going to live for the next two years. Um, so yeah, I just thought, let me learn a new skill. And that's how mm -hmm. I started. And what are some of like your favorite things about trading? Like what, maybe something yeah. that you would never have expected to come from learning the skill? Um, I think for me, for trading, what I really, really enjoy is just the times. I'd wake up really early. I wake up at like 6.30 anyway, or 7 a.m. And just being able to jump on the laptop and then try and make money or make money yeah. for like an hour. Then you've literally got the whole day to do what you want to do. And that, that was literally yeah, what got me. Like, when I first started, we were literally doing 5 a.m. Mm, it was me and a bunch of other people yeah, hanging out yeah. on Zoom at 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. And then by the time 6 rolled around, we were mm, done. Exactly. And then I would just go to ballet for the rest of the day. Yeah, yeah, so I could use that time to do my poetry, to actually study it as well. This was when I was kind of studying it. 
you know, everyone was on baby pips from like the beginning. Do you remember baby pips? That. Do you remember baby yeah, pips? Like, it, still <laughs> now to this day, when I do TikTok lives, people yeah. are always like, oh, where can I learn how to train? I just go, baby pips. Yeah. Because... But some stuff is so boring. Like, it is boring. But, you know, I learned like the main stuff, like how to take a trade, lot sizes, risk to rewards, yeah. like what to do, um, all those things there. And it kind of taught me the discipline. But some of it is a bit irrelevant for yeah. what I wanted to do. Unless you wanted to have like a yeah. job in trading, then cool. Yeah. But yeah, Baby Pips was where I started. And it just gave me a lot of time to learn. And also I was sorting out my finances because I was like, mm, HMRC, <laughs> I've got the, Well, yeah, know, being, an, like, being my an taxes artist. My taxes are due and all these things, so. Taxes, yeah. being an artist during lockdown where we're, no one's making money was in No jobs whatsoever, yeah. How obviously how did you find that it was crap yeah but like you know how did you I suppose find your way out of that because you came out the other side of it very abundant yeah. which is amazing yeah, yeah. and we'll get into that but how did you find that kind of period yeah it was difficult especially because you know they were saying this furlough stuff but because we I was on a zero hour contract the furlough was like 300 pound a month it yeah. was nothing yeah. And then, you know, you've got bills to pay, this, that, your car, all these things to pay for. But then I started doing like some poetry online. I do a few little odd freelance jobs that paid quite well. So I was able to like pay my bills, live. And I was, no one was going out, so I wasn't spending money on holidays yeah, exactly. and stuff like that. But then when I started to really get into trading, I'd find, okay, I can make a quick 50 pound here in an hour. That can go towards the water bill, like, you know, this could pay my mom the rent, this can do this. So yeah, as I started to get a little bit better, I started to learn more about crypto then. Mm -hmm. So then I was doing Forex trading and then I was learning about crypto and obviously crypto yeah. was like, you know, sky high, yes. like it was going so yes. well. And it was so, such an exciting time yeah. as well. Like it yeah. was the talk, it it, like right now, was... everything's AI, yeah. AI, blah, blah, blah. But like crypto yeah. was. Yeah, so when crypto kind of, Everyone started talking about crypto. I was like, oh, what is this? Let me join in. And then I could, I saw people trying to make money. It was confusing for me at first, obviously, because it's not the normal fiat currency. Yeah. It's like 0 0.001534, da, 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 da. It's like a percentage of a Bitcoin. And I was like, oh, what's this? And I just didn't, I couldn't be bothered. And then I started to learn it. Um, yeah, and I kind of just jumped on. Even with you, we were learning bits about it as well. And just from other people who were kind of doing really successfully, um, yeah, I just literally studied, studied, studied and learned the whole thing. I lost money, I made money, I lost money, I made money. Part of the journey. Yeah, and then when it became like a balance where I was like, I think I had like a two week run where I was doing Forex and crypto and I was like, oh my God, I feel like this is my life. Like oh, I've actually learned it. Yeah. Like I'm doing so well. I'm not deviating from my plans. I'm not trying to flip money. I'm not like being too overly riskful. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I was like, okay, this is something that I can definitely work with and maintain and, you know, use as like another in income. Um, and then I started, what I would do, because I was saving for a flat, mm -hmm. what I would do was the profit that I made, if I made a certain amount of profit, like I, as I got to like 500, 500, 500, yeah. I'd take out 500, put it into stocks and shares, yes. into an ISA, and yeah. then it would grow. And during the pandemic, because things were kind of, it was kind of easier, I think, to... Yeah navigate the markets because everyone was on Twitter, Instagram. Mm. If one person says something dodgy or if yeah. Trump was saying something, if Elon was saying something, that then bias was a it lot kind of, yeah. Kind of whereas navigate. now it's quite difficult to navigate what the yeah. future holds. Whereas that time it was kind of easy. Um, so yeah, I would take out my profits and put it into stocks and share ISAs, help to buy ISA mm -hmm. yes, and just keep, yeah, yeah, just keep growing, growing, growing. Um, because yeah, that was the that thing was... that you said to me when you first started. You were like, look, I want a deposit for a house. Yeah. And we were like, sure, like, let's plan for that. Yeah, yeah. And I think I gave you my um, budget, my compounding yeah, spread, my compounding yeah, yeah. plan. The spreadsheet that I still use to this day is like the best thing that I've ever done. Mm -hmm. um, and just backdated yeah. it and just planned. And you, yeah. re you really committed to that and you just did it. Mm -hmm. And then you sent me a message like, by the way, I'm buying my house. And I was like, ah, yeah. oh my gosh. It was so weird. I was just, I didn't know anything about buying a house either. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> like I don't know anyone it's really. crazy how much they don't teach you in yeah. school because yeah. when I went I bought my property before we started trading mm. and I literally had no idea what I was doing yeah, I just yeah. had this bulk amount of money and yeah. then went to the I didn't even know where to look 
I had to ask somebody, what do I do? <laughs> and they were website. like, they were like, you go to your bank. And I was like, why yeah. would I go to a bank? Yeah. I go to the house people. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, that process, once you actually go through it, it's, mm-hmm. it's so quick. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was, for me, it was a bit of a long one because I'm trying to think of the timelines now <laughs> because I work so many different jobs, yeah. like three, four, at the time I was working three, four jobs. They weren't like nine to five salary. It was like I'd do youth work 30 hours a week. Then in the nighttime, I would work in a bar. Then I would work in like prisons and stuff like that with young people. Um, Proofal referral units with young people. So like my timing. So when the bank, when my, when I found a mortgage broker, she was like, "Mm, what kind of life are you living? Like. I don't know if the bank is going to give you any money. Yeah, they say of. that because they actually only want you to just have one yeah. stream of income. Like they three months pay slips yeah. of like a specific job. But I didn't have that. Like, yeah. And plus I'm a creative. So like I was also self-employed. Yeah. So I was like, well, can't I put my self-employed money and my job money together and just show you what I make? And she was like, no, we need to decide whether we're going to put you forward as like an employee or as a yeah, self-employed sorry. person. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, this is so long. Yeah. And then um, because I was making money off the trading, I had to declare some of it to make it look like I had made, yeah. you know what I mean, to yeah. prove to the bank that I can actually live and support myself yes. um, financially because that's what they wanted to see. Yeah. They wanted to see like three months, solid income. Yeah. And then for my self-employment, they wanted so to see like two years. from your trading? Both. I had to show both, yeah. Wow. I had to show everything. And I was pissed because I was like, "Mm, okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, and it was a lot of paperwork because, you know, self-employment, I had to declare myself self-employed for like acting, poetry and the trading. Wow. And then- Three separate ones. It was all in one. All in one, yeah. But it was just a lot of paperwork, like so much paperwork. And then I had to show that I was working solidly doing the youth work getting a salary, yeah. making extra money. Just, yeah, it was a lot. It was wow. a lot. So yeah, I had to like, so for like a six six solid months, I was like, okay, getting my paperwork together, speaking to the mortgage broker. She was like, you need this, you need that. I was like, oh my God, too much stuff. It was just, yeah, yeah. whilst working, yeah. whilst trading. Hustling, living, working, yeah, grinding. Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot, it was a lot. So um, yeah, and like then pandemic was kind of finishing. Yeah. And everyone was going back to work. That's when I was like, okay, I think I've saved. I've got the money now. I've got it. Yeah. And I saw like, obviously with compound interest. um, Yeah. And just compounding your money. You could see that it grows quicker rather than leaving it in like a NatWest account just to get 1% of 10 pounds a year. Yeah. It's it's rubbish. I may as well be leveraging it and growing it. Yeah. And um, it's it's not for everyone. Mm. Definitely not for everyone. Yeah. But for me personally, that's how I like it. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's still good to have like your emergency fund. Always. A couple grand at least just in like a savings account, just in case you never know, like something might break a boiler or, you know, your car, stuff like that you kind of need. But in terms of my deposit, I was like, I'm putting it into stocks and shares and I'm just going to let it grow. And then I made a good profit off of that. Um, And I literally just took it all out. I was like, I want it all now to pay for my flat. Oh, I'm just so happy <laughs> yeah. that you did it. You know, we've got a lot of success stories actually as yeah. part of Trade Creatives, mm-hmm. but yours is definitely one of them. Yeah. So I think you're the only one who's got a deposit for a house, yeah. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. which is so exciting. And you probably had loads of people asking you how you did it. Yeah, so, so when, many. What questions do you get when people <clears throat> The ask questions you? I get is like, how did you do it on like a zero hour contract job? How did you do it working like, you know, youth work it's a very rewarding job, but it does not pay good. It's terrible money. So they were like, oh, how did you do that? Like, oh, what? wait, but you got a flat. And it's like, how did you get it on your own and put down a certain amount of deposit and then still manage to let the bank trust you in the fact, like to lend you the money kind of thing. Um, but literally, I just say it was hard work, working hard. I was very focused because it was like my one goal is to get my flat. Um, just something for myself. I've never really bought, I'm not really someone that like buys flashy yeah, stuff. I don't buy a designer. Um, I'm just like a simple being. I love my holidays. That's yeah. about it. And then I just thought, I just want something that's mine. So that when I have kids, when I have a family, at least I have that 
That's you literally know? what I said yeah. when I bought this flat. At least I don't really buy stuff. Mm. Like I buy shares, not yeah. shoes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was like, at least if I have this flat, I could, if I have a baby, yeah. I've got somewhere to put it. Yeah, just in case. <laughs> and then it's fine. Everything yeah. else, you can just do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. And it was just something like a challenge for me because I've never really been good at finances. Like I really? live paycheck to paycheck. That surprises me. No, terrible. Really? Because I haven't learned it. No okay. one learns how to save money or to put money into like a pension yeah. or to like invest. No one learns it. Like I, if, if I was to talk to a young person now, I'd say, listen, if you're 16, start invest if, or whatever age you're allowed to start, just start and like put in 50 quid a month yeah. and then just grow it. Leave it in there for like 10 years and see what you get. Because when you work it out, wow, like, from sixteen to twenty six, yeah, twenty six yeah, is no age. Twenty six to thirty to forty. Could you imagine? Yeah, you were making. I serious. wish someone had told me to do that exactly. at sixteen. Yeah, yeah. Think. it's a lot more accessible now as well like yeah, the amount of yeah. apps that we have yeah. like I was still bamboozled that we could access the full forex markets yeah. just on our phone like yeah app. it is it's, it's crazy so yeah just learning all of that kind of helped me just put my head together and asking people and like I asked people who had bought their flats mm. or bought their houses or worked in the industry and I was just like teach me like I'll be your men like mentor me kind yeah. of thing and like they did so I just took you the advice what? people who have been yeah. successful are mm. so willing to mentor yeah. other people yeah. it's very strange because yeah. you think that it's actually a really closed community mm -hmm. and like people don't want to share information but since starting learning how to trade yeah and having so many mentors mm -hmm. you realize that people do want to yeah. mentor others yeah yeah they're open to it and like if you're committed you can just work together and it's kind of like hold you accountable so you're not like not doing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So that was kind of the journey to it. But last year was when I was, so I got, I ended up buying the flat this year right. because I had to put some stuff on hold because of my, in, I had a brain hemorrhage. Yes. Um, I remember the day yeah. you told me. So I think, something, <laughs> we was, I think we were due to do something. Yeah. Or something yeah. that week and you something were like, to do oh, with trading. by the way. Yeah, I'm in hospital. Like, yeah. And I was suffering. like, sorry? <laughs> yeah. And you are like, oh yeah, like, I could yeah, have died. Yeah. And I was like, hang on, drop, let me just yeah. drop everything else. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. So that was a lot because last year I spent like a lot of time going back because I bought in, in East London. So I was going back, I'm from West, so I was like going back and forth, back and forth, East London, viewing That's like, sense. yeah, like <laughs> viewing like five properties a day, Whoa. Try, then going to work, then doing this, then doing that. And then, then I had this brain hemorrhage out of the blue, um, Gosh. which kind of like disrupted everything. Cause I was literally had my, yeah, like I had my mortgage in principle and there was a flat that I'd off, put an offer in and they were like, yeah, we've accepted it. But I was like, shit, I'm actually in hospital. Like, yeah. yeah so and I couldn't walk. So did you just put it on pause or could you manage it from... No, I had religion? to put it on pause, yeah. Because I had the surgery, I had surgery. I couldn't walk. I was in hospital for a month. Like, yeah, my memory had gone. So it's just like, it was a lot. Yeah, like I'm still recovering now. So it was a lot. But luckily, they were okay. Like the person who I was buying off, he was in a rush, but not in like a huge rush mm -hmm. to sell. So he was like, well, you know, I want you to have it. It's fine kind of thing um and then my mortgage broker the letting agent they were all cool wow. with it but yeah there was a lot of paperwork and I remember when the day I came home from the hospital I just saw like, I was gonna say, like a like, mountain of paper welcome I home was like, what? and I couldn't even walk like I was in so much pain I was like I can't read this like I couldn't even look at texts from family to who were like checking in on me you know what I mean like to read um so yeah I had to get like my brother-in-law, he was helping me out to read it and go through every single page. And I was like, where do I sign? Like, whilst <laughs> literally like on the bed, I couldn't, like my legs yeah, were yeah. stretched. I was in this mad pain. Like it was, cause I had like the operation on my brain, but they went through the groin. I had this weird yeah. nerve damage, so I couldn't walk. Um, so I was literally just like in the bed, like signing stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, it was a lot. But you were admin that it yeah, just went through. Because the mortgage in principle, yeah. and this was when the mortgage rates were changing, right? So yes. I was like, I don't want no 7% mortgage. Yes. I'm not paying this. So yeah, I had literally around March was when, when did I get the flat? It was, yeah, March, April. Um, I think I had a week left of that, of that particular mortgage rate that I had. 
And I was like, I need to sign it. I yeah. need to get it done yeah. because next week, Who the knows? bank's going to yeah. tell me 7%. And I was like, no, I can't do it. Yeah. So literally, I just signed everything. I was like, we've got to get it done. Da, 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 da. People were driving me back and forth to the flat, to the place, to this, to that. Everything was done online. Um, and then literally, they were like, okay, you could pick up your keys. I was like, okay, thank God. And this was when I was like doing physio, like to yeah. get back into yeah. walking. Um, so I was like doing everything on crutches, like literally. It was a lot. I was just like, thank God I had my family and like people to drive me because I wasn't allowed to drive for a few months. Yeah. Like I couldn't, I was on crutches, two crutches. Then I went down to one, mm -hmm. still on the one for the stairs. Yes. Um, so yeah, when I got the flat and I got the keys, I was like, oh my God, oh. I've made it. Like I've literally, done it. Literally yeah. Literally dream come true. Like, like the fact yeah. that you were able to do it that in crazy. such a short space of time. Mm. Like, yes, it was so much hard work and you had a crazy <clears throat> end. Yeah. But the fact that you did it, like there are so many people yeah, who yeah. would have given up. Have yeah. There was times when I was like, I can't be bothered for this. Like I might as well just keep the money and just live off it. Because I can't, I, I wasn't working. Like I haven't worked for yeah. six months because... Wow. I've been signed off. So like, and this government money, I'm telling you, the yeah. sick pay, 90 pound a week. Yeah, it's unreal. like, are you killing me? Just, you've had a brain hemorrhage and they're giving you 90 pound a week. Yeah, it's, yeah. So luck, I had to dip into some of my deposit money yeah. to live, yeah. um, which was annoying. But yeah, like the thing <laughs> I would say is have your deposit money, but try and have an extra 5k just for like the admin fees, the yeah. mortgage. Broke. I was going to say, what other advice yeah, would like, you I have? would say, if you have your deposit, say you've met, you've got like 15 grand, your deposit is there. Okay, you're ready, but have an extra 5K just because when they come for you with all these other they additional do. costs that I didn't, I didn't know about. Yeah, so I would say the extra money that you need, yeah, for solicitor's fees, mortgage broker, oh, yeah, decorating stuff. Mm. Decorating as well, if you have to gut everything. Like, like yeah, that is a lot. yeah, luckily... Well, I have a friend that works in B and Q, so I got discounts. So I was like, if you've got friends, or if you've got people who are selling stuff, mm -hmm. Facebook Marketplace, yes. eBay, Gumtree, like anything. I didn't kit it out fully, but it was in terms of like the painting, the decorating. Yeah. It was a lot. It was because it was it was kind of old, and it was like an ex council flat. Right. Um, I think the guy who lived there before wasn't really there. It was just kind of left. So just stuff like that, like painting, decorating, you need money for that. Mm. Also for your first, like they want an upfront free, um, upfront fee of mortgage, of your mortgage payment. So I think I had to pay, oh, what was it? Like a grand upfront for like a specific, really? yeah, for some of the mortgage. I don't actually remember having yeah, to do that. Yeah, it was yeah. a bit confusing, but they were like, yeah, you need to pay this, you need to pay that. And, and then that, by that point you're kind of like, yeah, oh, sure. I'll just pay it, I'll just, yeah. And then there was, oh, service charge. They wanted that, yeah. some sort of service charge up front in arrears. I don't, I don't really understand it, yeah. but I had to pay it. And then, um, yeah, when you're actually, when you've got the key, you've got to think of council tax. Yes. Water, gas, electricity. Yeah. Like, that was literally like, yeah, when, I first, when I first bought this flat, I'd been able to do everything. All of that was yeah. fine. But then obviously I was made redundant, like after yeah, it yeah, went through, that, yeah. like literally it, yeah. everything had been secured. And then what, two days later mm -hmm. made redundant. So I didn't even have enough for my first month's yeah, yeah. council tax, mortgage payment, bills, nothing. Yeah. And I was just like, holy shit, what am I gonna do? Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like we came at trading from the, literally the opposite sides, yeah, yeah, where yeah, I'd yeah. gotten a property and then had to use trading to, to survive. To survive to and use it. that money, yeah, And then yeah. you'd use trading to actually get your property. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it is crazy, and then they just they just don't tell you the things that no. you need to pay for. No. Obviously, you kind of know as like an they adult. They do need to give you a checklist. Yeah, do you know what I mean. There like, was no this check. Is gonna be the thing. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, that's hard. The thing that's hard is that it literally on the exact day everybody wants their money. Yes. So it's not like oh, I'll pay the solicitor next month. No, it's you're paying everybody yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. As soon as you've got the key. You're left on your own and it's, yeah. you have to learn like what to do. You need to call up the gas people and say, okay, I've just moved in. I live in. here now. Yeah, I've got this. Like what, who, who am I yeah, like yeah. buying who are you? from? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like call up the council. Oh, council tax. It's me now. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Service charge. Yeah. It was, it's just a lot. Like it is. Very and adult admin. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then at the time, because I'm going through my recovery as well, like trying to do everything on the phone mm. is just speaking to different people. My brain. God, how you did all of that over the phone. Yeah, I had like, to get my mum to help me and like yeah. just, yeah, it was, it was a lot. Yeah. So like traveling from west to east, <laughs> like mm-hmm. Dagenham is like, you know, that is Romford, that, is that very kind east. of area is so long. So just all of that was just so hard, but it is worth it because... Yeah. Yeah, now I'm happy. Like everything balances. Chilling. After a few yeah. months, everything balances out, and then you kind of get into the groove of things. You can start making money. I've been doing a little bit of freelance work here and there whilst I'm off, um, but I can't do too much. But yeah. yeah, what I can do is a little bit. You know yeah. what I mean? So I was gonna say, what is yeah. actually next for you? Yeah. So next, now I'm not going back to all my jobs because I was working so many jobs. Now, what am I doing? I'm doing a lot of poetry, so. During my recovery, I've do, done a lot of um, writing, relearn because my memory kind of went in terms of like yeah. my my old po- poems, remembering them and stuff. Um, I had to relearn a lot of them, so I've been challenging myself wow. every month, learning a poem. Wow! Just to get the memory yeah. back, and then doing open mics. Nice. Been writing my own poetry book, which should be out end of the year. If Yo! Not, yeah, yeah, if not, <laughs> not beginning of this year. Yeah. And it's just about. I've basically written 33 poems because I'm 33. Yeah. 33 wow. poems to reflect different parts of my life, like through the love, the loss, the trauma, yeah. life in general. So yeah, some of them I perform, some of them are to be read. Um, so yeah, I'm just doing, I'm just trying to be creative. Mm-hmm. Like now I feel a bit more at ease. Yeah. Yeah, just doing You're a lot of, to settle yeah, and get back into yeah. Yourself. And like the health is like my main priority. I've just been doing my physio. Yeah getting back into yoga slowly, practicing my walking. Yes. Like literally, it's just, that's the main thing is the health. Yeah, health is well. Yeah, health yeah, yeah, is yeah. Well. Health is the main thing. I've been doing a lot of Reiki, because that's one thing that helped me when I couldn't walk. One of the nurses was like, have you ever tried Reiki? So I was like, okay, I'll try it. And it literally, yeah, wow. literally I couldn't walk. I went to a Reiki practitioner, no way. had a few sessions. What happened? Tell me, tell me about that. So I couldn't really, in the hospital, they said it's some sort of nerve damage or like, you know, your brain controls every yeah. part of your body, right? So literally when I came out of the operation, they were like, can you move your feet? Can you touch my, I was like, I can't do it. Like oh I was telling my brain, yeah. move your foot and I couldn't, it just wouldn't move. So I was like, oh, oh does that God. mean I can't walk? They were like, oh, we don't know. Uh, you know how they are we yeah. don't know but you might not be able to walk again or you might not have all your cognitive skills again or you know each person just had an aneurysm so yeah yeah, yeah. but it, it it popped so it's they they said it could have gone into a, a stroke i don't really understand yeah. but it's all to do with timing so if they catch it whilst you're still conscious then they can do something it depends yeah. on where it is in your brain mm-hmm. um so yeah, some people don't make it. Some people, it's like a 50-50% chance, you know? So I'm lucky to be alive. That's the main thing. But they were like, yeah, we don't know. Like, cool. each person's different. Love like, that. Thank you. Yeah. So I was like, I am not, not walking. So yeah, I had to like, it's a lot about um, the mind and the brain. And I ended up speaking to this nurse in the nighttime shift. I couldn't sleep. I was on morphine. I was having mad nightmares. Um... She was like, oh, you should try Reiki. Like, it's like a healing energy. It might help. And I was like, mm, I don't know, like, whatever. So then when I was finally discharged and I could, like, kind of walk on the crutches a little bit, I was yeah. still in so much pain, but I just couldn't walk by myself, yeah. unaided. Mm-hmm. So I went to this Reiki practitioner and she was like, oh, all right, let's just try it. Aww. Literally, the day, that day when I got home, I slept all the way through and I hadn't slept for, like, two months fully wow. because I was on medication that like, you had yeah. to take every two hours so I hadn't slept and I literally slept the next day the pain wasn't as bad like it hadn't completely gone but it wasn't as bad and then I was like okay I need to I need to learn this like what is this (laughs) so then I did my Reiki one I studied that um and then I've done my Reiki two certificate so now I can I can actively um do Reiki on people and now I'm doing my Reiki diploma cool where I can practice and work professionally in like hospitals prisons with young people with animals with children yeah as like a business so yeah I'm doing that now like I've got my own 
set up practice. going on yeah, yeah my own practice is early days but yeah i'm just so doing proud that of you. yeah thank you it's been such a <laughs> yeah it's and what been about emotional trading? oh yeah trading oh that's been the di- that's been the most <laughs> difficult part it does because because yeah the oh. journey the you know and the thing yeah. that i love about trading mm-hmm. is that it will always be there for you yeah it's always there it for is. all of us and i missed i've i've missed it so i haven't been able to trade prop like how i used to because the memory, it just went, yeah. like my strategy had gone. And also you had, had more of like a purpose then. Yeah. And yeah. at that time it served your purpose mm-hmm. and yeah. that's amazing. So this one, because of my focus, the concentration, the health, the brain, everything, I haven't been able to look at the computer yeah. proper, properly until of recent. So like I have opened the computer and been like, what is this chart? Like I'm looking at nice. it's, Euro it's, GDP. Yeah, it's yeah, a I'm language. Like, what is this? Like my dyslexia is just, it's all over Bruh. the place. Yeah, it is a bra moment. And I'm just like, mm, I don't know. So I've looked at it and I've like, not taken, I've taken like maybe two trades this whole year because I've been, one, my confidence has yeah. kind of gone to, I'm like, oh, I don't know. I need to back test because I don't know what's been going on with the with the pairs that I really traded. I was mainly on like gold and like, I know uh, everyone's like, oh, yeah, we're in gold. Yeah, yeah, I know. So gold, the GBP pairs. Yeah. And because I haven't really been following what's going on with like the financial markets and stuff like that, I'm like, <sighs> I'm looking at it. I'm yeah. like, I need to back test. So that's what I've literally, from what month are we? July. So from July, June and July, I've been looking at it. I've been looking at the crypto as well. I've still mm-hmm. got like my wallets and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't take out all my money. I still got a bit of it in there. Just sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. sitting there. A lot so of the crypto could, market got, is just sitting there. Yeah, so I've got stuff to play with. Yeah. But until I'm like fully 100% with my strategy, because I know what I'm like as well. I need the discipline. Otherwise, yeah. if if I stray from it, I, yeah, it, you know, people can that's go on I to gambling. Is, people well, can be a bit crazy exactly. with it. So, yeah. I think that's what's discipline. quite nice about it because some of our traders who you know, they've used it for a purpose, for what they need, and then they just dip back into yeah, it when they need it. Yeah, and I think yeah. that's so beautiful. Yeah. And that's literally why we learned it in the first yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. what do they say? Oh my God, don't, <laughs> don't give a man a fish, you teach him how to fish, mm. something like that. Yeah, And yeah, that's literally yeah. it. Yeah. You know, just fishing when we need to. And I think that's so nice. Yeah, and I, I love, I do really enjoy it. Like, especially because we were in the team Oh, and like, nothing's better than that. Yeah, that like, the best. doing it with so many cool women who are just, even guys who are just creative. Like, yeah. some people are off on their dance jobs so they can't trade. Or some people are on set mm. and they're trading. Or, like, there's been times where I've done, like, a poetry gig and I'm just waiting to go on mm. and I just look at the trades and I'm like, oh, this is a good one. And it's hit my point. I'm like, quickly, enter. And then I'm on I'm stage. Still, I'm, I'm like, cool. oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Roller coaster. It's crazy. It, it is cool. But then when you see the profits coming in. Yeah. It's not like major money, like a million pounds, but it is, Even you know, like 50 quid. That. People really glorify a million yeah. pounds, but actually to be able to say that you get 50 quid whenever mm. you want, yeah. it's pretty life-changing yeah, for yeah, most yeah. people. Yeah, because most people work five hours and they only make like 50 pounds. Mm. So that's, for me, the best thing about trading is my that I actually yeah. can get time to like be with my family, focus on recovery, focus on my yeah. poetry, focus on just life, like actually going out and like yeah. being in nature, doing my Reiki. So that's like the main thing. But yeah, I'm like so super excited just to be getting back into it. I'm like oh, dipping my toe just in. Just back, into, back into the world. I can't wait to yeah. see more of your um, spoken word oh, and poetry yeah, stuff. Like, thank you. That is amazing. Yeah. No, and the book, been... where can we get yeah. this book? It's not out yet. <laughs> when, will it, when will it come? I'm hoping the end of the year, I'm hoping, yeah. But I'm like doing some, got someone doing illustrations oh. and yeah. And I want to make a few little videos. So yeah, hopefully trading can pay for that. Because well, I'm like, I need to pay someone listen, to do these things. That is what it's yeah, there for. Yeah. Like I've been using the, my trading to pay for all my dance mm-hmm. stuff. Obviously now yeah. we've got funding this year, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah. But last year trading really sorted me out with yeah. everything. Yeah, so, yeah. Doing your yeah. own stuff, like being your own boss. That's like the that main. That is what we have to And do. not having someone to tell you, oh, you need to be at work nine to five. You can only take holiday at this time. You need to do that. Like you need to be in the team meeting. Like mm. I can't, I can't, well, you can't do your creative thing because yeah. you're committed to this job. Yeah, and it's not worth it. Worse. Like one thing I've learned is just whatever you want to do, just do it. I like, forget all of that. 
working, hustling, hustling, hustling. It just makes you ill. You get burnt out. It's not worth it. So yeah, just do the trading. Jump on the trades. Jump on the trading. (laughs) Oh my God, this is such a great like long advert for trading. I know, I know. I'm plugging it, but learn it. Learn it properly because a lot of people have come to me for me to like, before my injury, especially to like teach them and like um, do a few like mentoring. You've had it as well, right? Because you've mentored me. Yeah. Um, but the thing I've learned is some people are very lazy and yeah. if it's not a skill that you learn overnight, like it took me like a year really, and I'm still kind of learning it, you know what I mean? But, um, if you are serious about it, just study it yeah. properly. Cause yeah, you don't want to lose your whole you just have to life's work of money. Like, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. And there are people, there are people who do crazy things with their money when they're in the beginning Risking, stages. Yeah. yeah, I did it. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I, I was too scared. To I lost like a stuff. grand. Like, did you in one day? And I was crying. Yeah, I can because imagine. I was like, oh, That's how am I going to pay the money. rent? Yeah, and yeah. I had to make it back, but the losses weren't as bad like the wins were better for me because i think yeah yeah i guarantee probably didn't make that same mistake twice. yeah no mm -mm, never again now i'm like very conservative i'm like okay yes if it comes out of my got like my rules then i'm not doing it that's basically how i how i trade so yeah sometimes it's frustrating though because you know you just think oh it's a good and if it goes in your favor Well, it takes time outside as well so then when you've been waiting for a minute for this Mm. trade to come through it doesn't do the thing and you're like Oh, that mm. looked like it could have been really nice, but I guess not, huh? Yeah. So, and yeah, just yeah. On. yeah. So it is. It has been good, but yeah, it's also just it's taught me so much about like the crypto world, mm. stocks and shares, investing, investing yeah, in investing general. in general. Yeah, I never knew about it. I just because no. <sighs> property is one whole other kettle yeah. of fish. Yeah, um, and even like from me doing my property, mm-hmm. I still didn't really know anything about investing. Yeah, nothing at all. That's just a nice yeah. big purchase. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. Really... And for me, like because I'm quite, I have a lot of morals in certain things what I do and don't mm. want to invest in. Yeah. Like, I don't want to invest in war. Like, I'm not investing in weapons. I'm not investing in dodgy things. So I'm very specific with what I invest in. I I know a lot of people who think, okay, certain things I don't want to invest in. How do I invest in what? Like, how do I diversify my portfolio if I'm only investing in one aspect? But for me, there is ways of, you know, doing it and looking and studying and whatever you buy for yourself or whatever you're interested in, that's what you should kind of invest in, right? So me, I'm interested in like the environment, renewable energy, CBD, like healthy stuff. What CBD brand do you invest in? Um, Which one do I do? Get Hemp, I do that one. There's one in America that I invest in, I've forgotten the name, that one's actually quite good because they employ people who are young Mm -hmm. and I think they've come out of prison or they're like trying to get their life. They're like young people trying to get their life back into track. Um, And where did you get, did you get these on like an app or? Yeah, an app. So I've got a few apps. So I've got obviously like trading 212, but I don't really like investing in one thing at a time. I just look at a few different things. So, and for me, I don't keep the app on the phone because I don't like looking at it. That's yeah. smart. I don't like looking at it because I think when you see that it's down, you're going to take your money yes. out. You're going to be like, oh, why is it not growing? Oh, it's like, it should be boring. Like it should be, yes. you put your money in every month. And you leave it. And you, you leave it. Really yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe check it like twice or three times a year. And then I've got like Money Farm where they diversify your portfolio for you. They, they do it for you. They take a percentage, yeah. but they're really good. Like I would definitely recommend them oh, because- I actually don't have money for Yeah, them, no, so they're good. They're good because their customer service is really good. You could speak to somebody on the phone mm-hmm. and say, I want to invest in this, these type of yeah. things, but I don't want to invest in that. Yeah. So, cause I know some people are very conscious about what they invest in. Yeah. Yeah. So am I. So yeah, I like investing in- yeah, education I like doing, stuff. I like doing things that I like, like <laughs> yeah. I've got shares with Airbnb. Yeah, yeah. DocuSign. Yeah. I'm such a big traveling. DocuSign. Yeah. What Amazon? Mm. Well, even though that's not really yeah, that, I know, uh, I know. not my models, but <laughs> yeah. if they yeah. capitalize, they capitalize. Yeah. Um, what else was it? Oh, yeah, I just bought what three words as well. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's good. Just it's about like putting in money every month. For me, that's I just it's automated. Yeah. I'm not one yeah. that. 
okay, this month I'm putting in ten pounds. Right, Next so month, it just does it literally, it's a hundred pound. Boom, nice. boom, boom. If I get some like a big sum of money, then I'll put in a little bit more. But because I've got my flat now, I'm kind of just it's just a hundred quid yeah, going in there cool. when I can, and then when I think of something new that I want to buy or mm. save for, I don't really know what I'm saving for right now. Well, Kids, what, well, a house, yeah. another house, I don't know. Well, another house yeah, some, could be the thing. Something for children, something yeah. for my own projects. Yeah. yeah, so I would say it's supposed to be boring. Yeah. If you're one that's like looking on the thing, on the apps, you don't, mm, don't do it. Because yeah. you'll get tempted. I like yeah. that, it's supposed to be boring. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The more boring it is, the better. You're probably <laughs> doing pretty well. Yeah. yeah, the better it is. Or you can inv- even invest in like things like... Um, Vanguard, where they have like the specific yeah. 500 yeah. stocks or whatever, and it's kind of just diverse and long term, and it's a bit, it's just basically like putting money into your savings account and then not really looking at it. So, yeah, yeah I would definitely recommend that. But anything you're interested in, that's what you should really be investing in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Any final words? I feel like we're, um, we're rounding up. Well, it's just but fun just, to talk about. It. Yeah, so like, nuggets, and I just love yeah. that. Yeah. Like people, have just been asking me so many questions but because I haven't had the energy or the mm-hmm. time to like actually answer on the DMs and yeah. like it's a lot the phone I'm so rubbish like with this <laughs> phone life and whilst con- not being able to concentrate it's just easier to do stuff like this but now I'm getting a bit better I'm free to kind of talk if anyone wants to reach out and yeah I'm here. Yeah. She's an investor. Yeah, She's yeah. a property investor, kind of cryptocurrency, weird. everything. Yeah, it's all about the freedom, right? You just, when people say, oh, I want financial freedom, but what, what do you want the freedom mean? to do? Yeah. And for me, it's just time, especially yeah. after my health issues. Life is like, yeah, yeah I've got so many things I want to do in life. And if, I, if it had gone the other way, then I wouldn't be able to do them, you know? So. Yeah, Continue very grateful. Life in that yes, life. yes. Oh, but yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. you. <laughs> Joining us on the Trade Creators Podcast. Yes. Uh. Listen to it. Mirror, mirror, the reflection of the love.